The Lemons Rally is a spin-off from the normal Lemons race, and all it is is a tour slash scavenger hunt on public roads driving kind of weird normal cars. You don't need any of the safety stuff you would need for a Lemons race. So all you need is something that's got a license plate and some insurance. So in addition to not having to install a roll cage and a racing seat and things like that, it opens you up to the ability to do some incredibly stupid things. Stupid, you say? What's this I've been hearing about a Lincoln? He said, son, you're gonna drive me to drinking if you don't stop driving that hot tub Lincoln. We are going to talk about the hot tub Lincoln that showed up on the Rocky Mountain Breakdown Rally in Colorado. Yeah, and the concept is very simple. It's a 72 Lincoln Continental Mark IV with the entire interior made into a hot tub. Yeah, go hot tub! Ah! Now, we've seen countless hot tub cars over the years in the Lemons Paddock or maybe just in our stupid friends' yards, but this was taking it to a whole new level. You may remember the hot tub Lincoln's creator, Bob Harnsberger, from Lemons Racing, a Rambler Marlin with holes cut in it, and also a Renault R5 Turbo, kind of, uh, made out of a LeCar and an Infiniti i30. So the spring 2020 race in Colorado got canceled due to COVID-19, but the rally was able to continue because it's sort of an inherently socially distant activity. And so Bob and his teammate, Kevin Temmer said, now's the time to build the hot tub Lincoln. As the Lemons Rally slogan goes, why break on the track when you can break on the road? So Bob and Kevin set off with a 72 Mark IV that Bob scored for 600 bucks in quasi running condition. They sliced off the roof, gutted the interior, and then lined it with fiberglass cloth and the kind of resin that you would find in a normal hot tub. Watertight seals were made for the steering shaft and pedals. Race seats with underwater belt mounts were added. The car didn't leak a drop, admittedly, when it was standing still. Water slosh was a bit of an issue once the car was on the move. Under the hood, it was what the car came with stock, 460 big block, 225 horsepower, plenty of torque, which turned out to be needed. Yeah, we need to talk about the weight because it turns out water's pretty damn heavy. Uh, before they set off, they reinforced the frame and they also put on heavy duty truck springs to handle what turned out to be about 700 gallons of water. So this car weighed maybe 4,500 pounds empty. They put 700 gallons in it. The total weight they think was over 10,000 pounds. Now, Bob and Kevin expected that the water might be a little cold to sit in uh, for an entire rally. So they naturally routed the coolant lines for the engine directly into the hot tub. Uh, they figured the heat exchange from the fluid would keep them from both freezing uh, I'm so cold. or boiling. Uh, I'm so hot. And, uh, you know, in theory, they had cleaned out the cabin and all of the coolant so the water would stay clean. In theory. Yeah. In practice, it turns out that a Ford 460 that has been abandoned for decades and probably has 600,000 miles on it has some stuff in the coolant passages that will be released once you run coolant through it and into your hot tub. Within a few miles, they had accrued this stew of rust and slime and lime scale and dead bugs that had been attracted to the rolling cesspool and it pretty much became the ickiest thing you can imagine within an hour. For sake, that is unacceptable. The only silver lining of this dude stew was that it was totally sterile. Why? Because the engine was running at about 600 degrees and before too long, the temperature in the hot tub became totally unbearable. This was a result, of course, of the coolant lines being plumbed into the hot tub, and they were pretty soon too hot to continue, so they stopped the car to cool off for a little while. Yeah, and then they decided this is just gonna be too much. Let's disconnect the whole system that connects the engine coolant to the hot tub. They did that, and immediately the water temperature plunged and they about froze. It was a perfect system, basically. They and the car were either freezing or boiling at all times. I'm hot and cold at the same time! 
coincidentally, at the same time as this rally, the Crown Rally was going on. Uh, this is one of those high-end exotic rallies with influencers and Ferraris and all that stuff, where it's a bunch of dudes pretending to look like they're doing something fun and exciting and dangerous. Which, relatively speaking, they were not. See where you came from. <laughs> 